Hello guys, it's Way here and welcome to a really, really overpowered 20k team. It will actually cost you just under 20k on the Xbox and uh, about 20k on the PlayStation. It's a really good overpowered team. It's got a lot of pace in it. It's got a bit of everything. You will have probably seen on the thumbnail and in the title the two strikers in this team who are both extremely overpowered. And uh, yeah, it's a really good team. Really well balanced. It's solid defensively in the midfield and going forwards as well. We are going to be using the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation formation, which is actually one of my favourite formations this year. Uh, it's really well balanced. And uh, yeah, this team was very, very good. The defence, really solid. Uh, the goalkeeper that we are going to be using is Lino, and he's actually my favourite keeper on the game. He's such a good keeper, makes so many great saves that you wouldn't expect him to make. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can use any Bundesliga keeper that you do want. I went with him uh, instead of someone like Neuer, because I wanted to make this team no links wasted, which if you didn't know is where you have... Uh, all the players with just the right amount of links to give them full chem. Uh, it doesn't make any difference, but it's quite cool. And this is actually my first ever no links wasted team. Defense really solid. It's got Clute, who is a really good uh, silver. You can use any uh, silver or bronze um, American in the MLS, though. There, Santana and Dante, really solid partnership. You've got pace, defense, heading, good work rates, and uh, yeah, that was pretty solid. And Surana is a really, really good right back he's got some really good well-rounded stats as well 72 shooting decent passing uh, and obviously the good defending and uh, pace that you would expect on a good right back a defensive midfielder we have got Felipe Melo fantastic uh, player in that position he's got good work rates he's tall strong good defensively and decent pace the two centre mids are Douglas Costa and Dempsey both of them have really good uh, cards Douglas Costa, 5 star skills, great long shots, good pace, and Dempsey has got great long shots, 4 star skills, good free kicks, and uh, yeah, really good uh, two um, midfielders there. Uh, your centre mids in this formation, they're, they're quite wide, so it's good to have some pace on them so that they can go up the wing if you do need them to. Diego, great free kicks, really quick, great dribbling, one of my favourite cams on the game, I do use his inform a lot, you could use it if you wanted, but to make the team 20k, I just use his normal card. And the two strikers, Martins and Emanike, these guys here are so overpowered. Emanike, uh, he's been overpowered uh, since FIFA 13. Sadly, he's not going to be on FIFA 16. Maybe not sadly, though, because maybe you're you're a bit fed up with getting destroyed by him. But yeah, really good pace, good shooting, good physical, and uh, just such an overpowered player. And uh, also Martins up front. 93 pace, 5-star weak foot. Uh, one of the best strikers on the game. Uh, he did uh, score quite a few goals for me. And uh, with Emanike, I'd really recommend that you guys go for the power shots with him. I scored some nice outside-the-boot uh, long shots with him, actually, which is quite surprising because he doesn't have the best... Uh, stats for that and uh, Martins I recommend that you try and just take it around the keeper uh, with his pace and then you can just roll it into the back of the net and uh, that w works uh, really well with him and uh, yeah this team was very very solid I recommend that you guys play on the defensive uh, sort of um, custom tactic and it just made the team uh, sit back quite a bit and I'd be able to counter attack really uh, well with the team so overall I gave the team an 8 out of 10 rating uh, did play really well for me uh, a couple of downsides were I didn't really have the options to pass down the wings uh, and I do quite like wingers. Uh, I also like this formation though so uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a mix between uh, this being a good formation but then not having the option of the wingers which I do like. Uh, but yeah, you do end up uh, having a lot of focus through the middle and players quite close to each other. So if you like passing, this team's really good for you. I'm trying to get my passing play better, which is a reason I'm using this formation. And it is playing quite well uh, for me by doing that. Really solid defence as well. Uh, so if you're not that good at defending, this team will really work well for you because you've got a lot of pace in the defence. Great goalkeeper and the strike force is very overpowered. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video and uh, drop a like on it if you did enjoy. And if you're new here and you could subscribe, that would be great and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.